This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I answer a question on how to match the color between clips shot using different cameras, one of which was an iPhone, using Final Cut Pro 10. David Wong writes, my question is about camera matching. Would you do a short answer or demo on camera matching, mirrorless or DSLR video, and video shot on an iPhone? I find that it's very useful for me these days. Kind of a big topic, but it would be useful to even see a quick demo of how you approach this. Well, David sent his question early enough, I was able to ask him for some sample images. So not only can I talk about it, I can show you. Let's take a look. This is where we're going. This is the finished result. These are stills. He didn't send clips. So here's still number one, and still number two, and still number three. Now if we look at this, we've got several things to note. One, here we're shooting against the windows and the key light's coming from the left, so we're shooting against the key light. Here we're shooting more without the windows, which changes the exposure totally. And here we're shooting from the key light. We have three common things. We've got a common wall, common floor, and common skin tone. So that's where we ended up. Let me show you where we started. Here, okay, and then here, much less saturated, a little bit more green-blue, and here, much less saturated and even bluer. So we want to get those shots to match. There's two schools of thought. One is you get right into the color grading tools and you start to do everything manually. And that's perfectly fine, but I prefer to have lunch. So instead, I'm going to use some automatic tools to get me close, and then I'm going to tweak it until everything works and looks good. Let's hide the browser, Control, Command, 1, and select all three of my clips, because I can, and we'll go to the magic wand tool and say Balance Color. Because all three clips are selected, the balance color is applied automatically to all three. And I'll select this clip and go to the inspector. Inside the inspector under balance color, turn off automatic, which never works, and set it to white balance. What you really want is you want to find something which is supposed to be gray or white. And these walls are common and are probably a grayish color. So I'm going to click right about here. And now I've got that set. Click here and click at the same spot, set this to white balance, and click on the wall, and then put the playhead here, select the clip, <laughs> tell you why I'm laughing in a second, and click here. And I've now roughed in my three shots. They're at least in the ballpark. They're not matching, but they're better. The reason I'm laughing is that when I did this demo at 9 o'clock, I would move the playhead and forget to select the clip. And I was making all kinds of changes and nothing was happening because I had the wrong clip in the inspector. I was looking at one thing in the viewer and something else in the inspector. Oh, it was a train wreck. <laughs> you got to put the playhead so you can see it in the viewer and select the clip to make changes. Well, now we have to turn scopes on. Scopes are Command 7 and we're looking at two things. We're looking at the color and the saturation in the vector scope, and we're looking at the grayscale value on the waveform monitor. And we'll start with this first shot. I'm going to go up to here and select, I'm a color wheel fan, so I'm going to adjust color wheels, because they give me, I've worked with them for too long, I know what they're like. So we're going to, this is a little bit on the dark side, I want to pull my mid-tones up just a bit to brighten her skin. And we'll lift the shadows just a hair, and we'll pull the highlights down just to make sure that they're at or above zero and at or below 100%. Now here, as we look at this, we can see that this is the floor. There's her skin. There's the floor, the brighter. And the floor is saturated and right about there. Move to the next shot, much more saturated and a little bit toward yellow. And here, way less saturated and rolled away from yellow. So the first thing I'm going to do next is go to the next clip. Shadows are too high. Pull the shadows down. Always adjust grayscale first. And the midtones, let's just pull that up a bit. Just a hair. Again, select the third clip. Black levels are too high. Pull that down. White levels are a little bit hot. Pull that down. And now, let's cheat. I love this. Select the clip. And go to the crop menu. And 
when I'm trying to adjust a crop by using the on-screen controls, I can never grab them when they're right to the edge of the interface. So I'm going to change the view to 50% to make these things easier to grab. And I'm going to isolate on some well-lit part of her skin, right about there. Now, skin should be on this skin tone line. It isn't. It's rolled toward yellow. And her grayscale should be around 65%. She's a little bit dark. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to roll her skin up to the skin tone line. So it's right on that line, right about there. I'm going to boost the saturation just a bit and boost the highlights just a bit. And now we'll reset and we'll say done. Now let's do the same thing with the next. Select the clip, select the trim, concentrate on some well-exposed part of her skin. You don't want to use her face because there's likely to be makeup on there. And notice again, we're shifted toward yellow. So again, with our clip selected, which I always failed to do this morning, we'll roll that up and get rid of the yellow. And pull this down just a hair and say reset and done. And then we'll go to this clip. And again, we'll select trim. Look for some well-lit part of her skin that doesn't have makeup on it. Not saturated enough, so we'll pull the saturation up just a hair below the line. We'll pull that up a bit. Reset. And say done. Now let's take a look at what this looks like. We've got that shot, which looks pretty good. We've got this shot. Floor is a little bit too saturated. We'll pull the saturation down on the midtones. Right about there, a little bit toward green. i got to take some green out. There we go. And that looks good. I'm looking at the floor. That looks good. That looks good. I'm looking at skin. Okay, this is a little bit too... Go to the second clip. Black levels are a little bit too high. Pull those down. And make it just a little bit richer on the midtones. Good. Skin looks good. Skin looks good. Skin looks good. Floor looks good. Floor looks good. Floor looks good. And the back wall looks good. So that's how I get there. I use the automatic tools and then I use the scopes. And remember, skin should be right on the skin tone line. That gives me an easy way to isolate a part of the frame to find the skin so I can make sure that the grayscale values and the Promo values are right where they belong. Isn't that cool? That's just amazing. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete list of all of our training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store. And by the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library can save you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.